Welcome back. You are watching Good Day. We are obviously here live at the State Fair for day number one. We are having a lot of fun. We've got a great crowd, so we appreciate everybody who's firing us up. Kind of enjoying this cooler start to the day. And we, we know, know food is big business. Yeah, and you walk around, you eat a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. but there's also opportunities to learn how to make these goods at your own house. Yeah, maybe you didn't know this, maybe you do, but there are cooking demos all throughout the 12 days of the State Fair. And one of our favorites to be involved this year is Patrice Johnson. She is known as the Nordic Geek, uh, Nordic Food Geek. Uh, Patrice, Patrice, good to see you good out see at you. the fair once again. Um, oh yeah, we need a microphone. <laughs> that would help. Um, let's talk a little bit about cooking demos. If people don't know what happens, where are they, what are you doing? Oh, they're the best. And it's always free. So people are always looking for free things to do at the fair. <laughs> I happen to be in the Eco Experience at the Renewing the Countryside exhibit. We have chefs and cooks every day all through the fair. Today we've actually got Beth Dooley and Perennial Pantry, and they'll be doing Kernza pasta salad. So if you are interested in Kernza, which is one of my favorite grains. I was like, what is Kernza? Uh, Let's Kernza's start there. Kernza is the best. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, a grain that grows in uh, drought, it grows oh, in woo, got a little wind there. Grows in cold temperatures like we have, and it's great ground cover. It's also really tasty and edible. Okay. So they've just introduced a new pasta made of Kernza, and go check it out today. She'll be at 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 11, 1, and 3. Okay. Tomorrow I'll be in that building, and I'll be doing a smorgas, which is an open-faced sandwich, a Swedish sandwich. And I do have that here today. We'll be doing... Uh, uh, it's got a bread, a rye bread with a cream cheese butter mix. It's really tasty, and then we top it with pickled beets and blueberries. P the okay. pickled thing is a theme here. I, I know that you love pickled anything. Um, I guess I don't mean to say that this is the only reason people come, but do they also get to taste it? Absolutely. Okay. We'll be doing samples. So. Just checking. Just yes. checking. <laughs> Just checking. Okay. So Thanks, let's, Kelly. I mean, you got to get to it. I, get to I it. understand. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's 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 start this bad boy. Oh, you bet. Let's do a demo this morning ahead of your demo tomorrow. That sounds right? great. So in here, I've already got my oh, my, Sorry. my cream cheese and my butter. Now, if I were a Dane, I would also, I, I would make sure that I've got enough butter to get what we call it, tanned or smear tanned, which is butter tooth. You want to see your tooth mark in the butter? Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm a Swede, so I'm not going to actually cover this with lettuce. If I were a Dane, I would put a big piece <laughs> of lettuce so you won't even know that there's butter on it. I did not know there were different levels of butter. There are, there are. Okay. And uh, in here I've got some quick pickled beets. Are those blueberries in there too? And blueberries as well. So I'm just going to cover the butter and the... How long have these been pickling? They pickled for about 10 minutes. Oh, that's it. Okay. And then I popped them in the fridge and that's it. And then we're going to cover that with some blueberries. The blueberries went in the brine after it cooled. So this cream cheese cheese spread, what is all in there? Because that's not just, you know, your plain cream cheese from Rupert's. No, it's not. Okay. It's a one part butter, one part cream cheese, a little bit of fresh tarragon okay and a little bit of orange zest and that's it Ooh, that looks pretty fancy. yeah it's that's very pretty fancy. do you teach about the pickling as well yes we'll okay. be doing that that's tomorrow again demo. 11 1 and 3 and okay. also we've got vendors who are doing samples um, one that I've got here today uh, is a uh, is hot sauce and uh, the Casey and Stephanie's hot sauce is amazing they're gonna be doing uh, samples Tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday, they're going to actually be doing their chicken wings. Oh! So be sure to come out for that as well. Fantastic. Uh, tell people about your cookbook in case they, you know, don't watch the show. You bet. It's uh, the the one that came out during the pandemic. Yeah. It has landed 10,000 plates, and there's actually a chapter and a half on the state fair. Oh! So if you want to read about what we all love about our state fair, it's in that book. Yes. Oh! It's Did everybody it's just hear Jason Madison? Jason. He is here, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. There is a test. We will talk with him in just a second. But uh, Patrice, quick question. Obviously, you love the fair. What is your go-to maybe fair food that you always have to have? I'm putting you on the spot. I always grab a Lynn's Lefsa, but I get my lingonberry on the side, mm -hmm. and then I run over to Hot Dish on a Stick, <laughs> and I dip my Hot Dish in a Stick in Lynn's Lefsa's Ooh. lingonberry. Wow. A little hot, a little hot that's take That's next on that. level. Yeah, yeah. That okay. is like inside. That's Take inside us along. Yeah. Take us along. Okay. Thank Patrice, you. We appreciate thank you. it.